Before we get started in today's episode, guys, I'd just like to say quickly, if you're looking for other players, if you're looking for resources, go ahead to Communities and search up the Forest Skippy 0330. Uh, check it out. There'll be other people playing sessions in here. There'll be people on the community wall. You can find friends. You can make friends. You can learn new things. Uh, or you can search up other communities as well and join as many as you want and have an unlimited resource. But feel free to hit that up. I'd like to see you guys in here, hoping to hit 200 members here by the end of the week. Welcome back, survivors. It is good to be back here in the forest. So, we gotta get set up. We got our modern axe, we got everything going. We got a temporary base sitting right here. Uh, we actually kinda have too much stuff. I don't need this little shelter over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, destroy this guy. Yeah, because the less things over here, the better. I don't really want to deal with them just coming over to attack it, right? Uh, so to, in order to do this, we're going to go to Custom Building, and we're going to go up to Hole Cutter. Press it on that, and bang. There we go. You don't have to uh, like spend 10 minutes trying to break it down with your axe. Uh, do we have any water yet? Damn it, no. <laughs> that sucks. But I, am, uh, I do have a, quite a bit of water. So what I'm going to do is go on over to our island here the place where we're gonna actually be setting up there's uh, a few things i want to do with this uh, we'll get into that a little later in the episode uh, but we do have to build a zip line from the trees down here a uh, little bridge uh, i'm thinking i can make like a little drawbridge idea um i seen a content creator who uh who did it I, I don't know how to say his name properly so i'll have to look it up but it's pretty damn cool Anyways, um, I'm going to make a temporary shelter here and just sleep through the night, and we'll be on day four. We still have three more days until the uh, the big mutants start showing up, so this should get interesting. we got to get our shit together. Sweet, some more turtles. That means I can build some water on my island right away. Oh, crap. I wonder if they're close by. Flame and turtles! That would be actually really cool if that shit cooked the meat. It'd be actually extremely handy. Damn, it's raining out, guys. I was going to get you know, some sticks here, but you know what? I'm just going to book it over to my treehouse and try to sleep through the night. Hopefully, this doesn't go bad. Oh, shit. Look at this. There's a dude over there. Walking around. I can see his light. Ah, oh, damn. This is about to get difficult. Okay, so I finished the temporary shelter. Um, it's raining. I'm cold. I'm going to see what happens when I sleep. Why the hell not? Hopefully this passes and I'm not dead when I wake up. <laughs> Bam, there goes my temporary shelter. All right, can we make a fire now? That is the question. Oh, and I can't save it either because it's gone. Here we go. Oh, perfect. We have just enough to finish. Six. So I'm going to light this fire up. Uh, I need to get some food, I think, going on. What do we have here? Uh, raw meat edible. Oh, delicious. There we go. <laughs> Let's throw that right on the fire. We're going to cook one of these suckers up, and I'm going to kind of take a look around while I'm waiting for it to see uh, how I want to orient my whole island. Oh, I got to also make a uh, a rain thing here while it's raining out. A rain thing. A uh, water collector. There we go. It was previously called rain thing until they updated the game and finished it. All right, so I picked up that turtle shell over there. Uh, we don't have that water collector going, and what do I have? I have a whole bunch of, yeah, I have a whole bunch of soda. We're, we're doing okay for water. I'm not too worried about it. What we have to do now is actually get the zip line set up. Hopefully it's not going to be raining all day. Uh, we'll get the zip line set up. I want to get a permanent shelter over there too, but it's going to take a little bit because I'm going to have to gather some stones and swim some logs across. I'm pretty sure I can swim logs across. Uh, let's actually chop down this tree and find out. Because I have to start setting up the, um, the zip line over there anyways. Alright, so i got a couple trees down here. So Now, I'm still debating on putting regrowth on or not. Uh, but what, from what I hear, leaving stumps laying around actually attracts cannibal attention. They'll come and they'll check out the stumps. Uh, so if I'm not doing regrowth, I should definitely take out the stumps. I think I'm going to make that decision in the next episode or two. Oh yeah, no, you totally cannot get logs across. So we're going to have to do this, um, from up top, which is not bad. These can just stay here for now. We'll, we'll get them across eventually. The worst is they'll kind of float along the shore and we'll still have them. Uh, but I did grab some sticks over there too. So I may as well finish these, uh, water collectors off and then we'll start placing the zip line. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead here and place down the freestanding zip line. It's actually in the last category of custom building here. And we're going to turn it around and face this cliff over here. I kind of want to come in this area. Uh, we'll place this down. I'll show you. Here we go. Ugh, I hate it. If you miss a rotation, you have to turn it all the way around again. There we go. I think that's actually still... Ah, whatever. Uh, no, it's still got to be a little angled. This is where it's like doing something from a super distance. Kind of have to eye it up. Okay, that looks better. I'm happy with that. Oh, oh no, I am not happy with that. Or am I? That is not what I wanted. Oh, wow, okay, so that's something I had never actually noticed before. Um, that this, this thing actually rotates with the bottom one. I thought you placed uh, the one and then had to put the other one at the exact same angle at the top. Wow, okay, I just learned something new. That's actually kind of cool. So basically what I want is you're going to be coming in from this direction. I kind of want to aim for, like, a little more over here. It looks like the trees are a lot more dense in this area. Uh, it's going to get busy up there, especially with the cannibal camp real close, but uh, we'll put some traps up and stuff to keep ourselves safe. And then when you zip down the island, I kind of want you to land in here, which is the middle area. It's kind of a nice uh, smooth landing. There's this rock here, but we should totally miss it on our way down. Let's hope. All right, so what I got to do is swim across with this animation, go run across the top of that cliff with this in my hand. So this is going to take a few minutes. All right, so we're at the top here at the edge, and I'm looking. It's just getting dense here. I hear another um, another dude. Now, I know I'm near a patrol path, and honestly, I kind of like that at the same time because I do want to get some action. I want to kill them for funsies, but I want to get set up first, right? Like, obviously, I don't want to be dying and shit all the time, and I want to have a cool base. So this actually looks like a bang-on spot. There we go. I'm going to press R2, put that down. Uh, the tricks with these is you you have to put them at a definite edge. Um, if there is like something too close, you won't be able to go down, and it won't let you know until you build it. I built one on multiplayer and um, had a little bit of an edge. Ooh, now that I'm looking at this, I'm not liking that. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit more to right here, and maybe forward a little bit more. See how derpy we can get this. Now the best idea from what I've seen is to build a platform to put on the platform so it's nice and flat and reliable but yeah no this is good we're good here uh so i'm gonna press x cement it in place and we're gonna need eight ropes to build this sucker uh so we might have to sneak right back into that cannibal camp or oh uh, that's yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna just make the cloth for now we'll sneak back to get some but i also need 10 logs so i'm gonna cut a few trees um that is not the modern axe here we go. Let me equip that, actually, or assign it to the bottom arrow. Sick. Cool. So I'm going to chop down a couple trees here and uh, get the 10 logs together I need for this. Okay, and that concludes the log. So all i got to do now is make up a bunch of the cloth or a bunch of them ropes. Uh, so I'm going to slap them all in there and make what I need. And there we go. So we should have eight ropes now. Perfect. So since I'm up here... Um, I need to build myself a permanent shelter down at the bottom, so what I'm going to do is grab my logs, walk up to this sucker, look at it, hold square, and let them slide down. If you do it too fast, they actually fall off and go down the edge. I've uh, learned that, that lesson a few times. Alright, so I've chopped down a few trees here, so we have uh, a few logs down at the island. Now it's time for us to test this sucker out. I'm going to hop on there, and we're going to go for a swing. I wonder if you'd die if you did this into the water. That would actually be kind of fun. Yay! Exploding logs! Now, apparently there's ways to solve that, but I'm not too concerned at this moment. Uh, the island's actually not too bad, so oh, holy crap, look at them. They all went out to the water here. Ooh, that actually might pose as a huge problem. Because uh, what happens when you, when you zone in, they kind of just all go flying. They bounce off each other when the, <laughs> the objects zone in. So we'll have to make uh, a log house here or something at some point where they can go into and get caught inside a house and not fly all over the place. That's insane. Okay, whatever. Hopefully those will float back eventually. But what we got to do now is make ourselves a permanent shelter because I got to save this game. And then we're going to make ourselves a little bit of a bridge. I think the best place to build a bridge is right about here because it gets deep right here. And that's what I want. I want it deep because they'll, uh, they'll walk literally right off the bridge and into the water. So uh, I want to see how that works. But first things first, I'm going to make myself a shelter. There we go. Now I can actually save the game. Perfect. And we'll get working on uh, a bridge here. 
So what we're going to use to start the bridge is we're actually going to use a custom foundation and then we're going to use custom floors. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is actually place our custom foundation. And I wonder how wide I want it to be. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? We're going to go seven. There we go. I think seven will do. Uh, I haven't done mu too much of this, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to swim over to the other side and basically just place one, two. I do believe... I can use a hole cutter on this thing and make a hole in the middle or subtract it somewhere. We'll figure it out. This might take a couple tries. It's my first time. Um, I've kind of seen someone else doing it, but um, I don't really remember it offhand to replicate it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna play around and figure this shit out. Okay, so that was definitely not how to do it. I don't know what I did, but I accidentally let go of the frame. So I'm gonna try that again from this end going towards there. All right, so that wasn't working so well. It seems as soon as I start swimming, it makes it go really, really funky. So it's a little hard to play. So I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit. Another thing we could try here is if we open this up, there should be a stone foundation to check out. Uh, here it is, a rock wall. And I do believe you can put... Uh, I do believe you can put... Um, I'm sorry, wood floors on top of a rock wall. But we're about to find out. So maybe I'll run one down there. And then we'll see what, what happens. Hopefully I'll be able to hold on to this one. All right, so there we go. I put the rock wall down. Uh, now, apparently we can walk up to each section here and uh, actually remove it. How big is it? I'm going to go square. Ooh, how much does that remove? Hopefully it doesn't remove. I think that'll actually re remove this whole section. Uh, but before we do anything else, it's fucking nighttime. Screw this. I'm going to bed. Okay, well, I can't quite sleep yet. Uh, now, we did figure out uh, what you need to do to actually sleep. Uh, what it is, is if you look at here, you can only sleep um, every 24 hours, I believe it is. So we actually have to wait till the next night at the same time to be able to sleep again. That's uh, that's what that symbol, symbol is about. It's a timer. I actually didn't know that, but by the third episode, we finally figured that one out, which is actually really nice to know. Uh, so since I can't sleep, I do have a few skulls on me. We have one, two, three more. I'm going to go and uh, put some light on this island here. Now, another handy thing to build right off the bat is a bench or some place to sit, something to do here. Let's drop these suckers, open this up, and we'll go back down the menu. Uh, here's a wood bench. It's nice and cheap. Uh, I'm going to put this down. Maybe we'll face it this way. May as well make it look a little nice, right? Oh, I'll make a face. Oh, no, it's not working. Let's turn this around again. I, uh, if there's a way to turn around the other way, let me know, guys, uh, so I don't look like a complete moron. Okay, here we go. Plop those suckers in. Bam. And now when you're tired and stuff and you need just to catch up on your energy, you can take a quick sit instead of having to sleep and passing time. Because honestly, your first, um, your first seven days are going to be the easiest. And morning. Just like that. I love how that happens. <laughs> Friggin' awesome. Okay, I'm going to have to eat right off the bat. Oh, look at that. That's spoiled. Is this leg still good? Hmm. Does look kind of tasty. And I mean, if no one's going to eat it. All right, so I scrapped that rock wall idea. I just ran across and canceled each one as I went. Uh, we need to take care of our food situation here. Now, I do believe I have a little bit of food left back at camp. We're going to check that out. Uh, but we do have to go hunting here pretty damn soon. I haven't seen any turtles. Uh, it does turn out nighttime is the best time to find those turtles. They end up coming out like crazy, and over time I'll have a whole ton of water collectors just hanging around. So I'll probably never actually have to go back and grab that pot from the campsite anyways. Oh, look at that. Hey there, little guy. How you doing? Let's see if my aim's improved um, at least in a little bit here. I could use your armor too, by the way. Oh, fuck. Oh, dear. Sick! I was actually chasing down the lizard again because I completely missed, but there's a deer sitting right here, so fuck you, deer! Nice! Uh, now we can get the deer skin and stuff too, which is really handy. You can make furniture, you can make other items with it. Always a good thing to have. I'm gonna also grab it for meat. Perfect, we'll leave that deer head behind. Uh, we'll deal with trophies once I have some room. Or walls, even. Holy crap, what the hell is all that moving around about? Like a ton of animals right in that one spot. Okay, let's see if I can hit the lizard this time. Come here, lizard, lizard. Fuck, still a little too high. Okay, so you have to go real low with these suckers. Okay, there it is. So I'm uh, going to go considerably lower this time. Fuck, right over his head. All right, I think all the lizard lizards took 
off here. I don't really see any more. But hey, I keep missing, but whatever. Practice makes perfect, right? Yeah, I got one! I killed one! I killed a lizard with a spear! My life is complete. Thank you, lizard. Your sacrifices will not be forgotten. Oh shit, I need to eat soon. Let's get up in this treehouse and see what's here. I've been just walking around trying to kill lizards with spears, wasting time. Uh, now there is much more efficient... Oh shit, it's raining out now. Oh, damn it. There is much more efficient stuff to do it with. I just find it funny that way. Alright, what do we have here? We Oh, nope, nope. I want to take that, and I want to take that. We have a whole lizard here that I can actually eat. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat this dried lizard. Nice. Alright, so I got some lizard in me here, and I got some lizard in my inventory, which is awesome. And I also have some logs over here I completely forgot about. Not a big deal, though. Ah, oh, didn't even give me a feather. Uh, so what we're going to do is head out to that open area near the shore. And I'm going to mess around with the custom building a little bit here. It might take a little while, but I want to see how I can build myself a bridge across that water. Uh, it seems I have a little bit of trouble as soon as I get into the deep water with holding it. It may be because I was trying to press X to swim faster and X is to place. Actually, that's probably exactly what it was. I'm going to go try the custom uh, wood foundation first. And then if it isn't me pressing X to try to swim, we'll go from there. And we have success. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, it was me pressing X trying to swim like a big old dummy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, press R2, and um, are we able to... Nope. Oh, we are able. I could probably go back out to the middle. Oh, shoot. I got to swim back across and build another support. Okay, let's swim back across here. And there we go. We have completion. Yes, perfect. Six. So how many logs is this going to take? I don't even know how to start building this sucker. It's going to take 75 motherfucking logs. That is going to take a while to build. Holy crap. Um, I wonder if there's a more efficient way of taking the middle out uh, before starting to build the structure. Eh, whatever. I guess we're going to waste a lot of logs. Holy crap. Two of them seem to fill a lot of area, though. Oh, you know what it is? You know why it's so expensive? It's because of all the, uh, the work underneath it. Ah, damn. So if it was just like the logs across the top, it wouldn't be so bad. Uh, but this is actually going to be nice and easy to do. It's just going to take a while and it's going to take me a few trees. So I'm going to go up top um, and start chopping a few trees down. And then uh, we'll go from there. Oh, shoot. My water collectors probably have water now. Because I can't swim across with logs. I can't get um, log haulers or anything across. So we definitely need a bridge to bring our raw materials over there. I don't even have sticks on that damn island. So these trees at the edge here, what I'm going to do is actually chop them down so they fall down the cliff and right down to the bottom there. Um, that'll be actually be a little easier to collect. And then what I'm going to do is just gather some more trees from around here and send them down the zip line and probably head down to the island uh, to finish off the other end of the bridge there. And look at this, I found a couple turtles and it is during the daytime so I don't think it's actually time specific now. I just think you have to be in the area for a little bit, and then it just randomly spawns the turtles in. Um, I don't even have enough to pick up the meat right now. That's funny. All right, back to getting this uh, this bridge here done. I've gotten a few on it so far. Nothing like chopping down a tree, having a campfire, and cooking some lizard. So it's getting really close to night uh, time here. It's starting to get really dark, so I'm trying to get as many of these trees over to the island uh, before the night falls here as fast as I can. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get maybe uh, 10 more logs over there. I'll have to do some fancy footwork. Alright, so I got the logs here. I can barely see. They're down at the island. Oh, I missed one right over here. I can see it leaning up against the tree. Sweet. So we're going to swing on over to that island and uh, clean up that log mess that is inevitably, inevitably, inevitably going to happen. Holy words today. All right, time to get all of these suckers into that bridge. Well, the bad news is it doesn't appear as if I can build the bridge from this end. So you can only build the bridge from the end that you started on? That is crazy. Holy crap, that actually kind of sucks. I can walk through this because it's not ready yet. But damn. Damn it, damn it. 
now I have all these logs over at this island I don't know what to do with. Well, I guess it's time to uh, build ourselves a log holder now. Better idea. I think I'll actually go ahead and build myself a small cabin just to keep myself out of the rain and crap. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good on supplies. I'll have to go back out and get some more sticks, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, we're just going to build a small cabin here uh, because this is going to get destroyed anyway. So let's build this sucker maybe. Oh, yeah, we'll do it here. Kind of facing in between the rocks. Beautiful. All right. Well, something to do with all these logs on this side now. All right. So I got that done. Uh, now we have a nice uh, shaded place in here to uh, do stuff. Uh, what I'm also going to do, how many sticks do we have? We only have two sticks, but I need to make a drying rack here. Now, I don't think there's any spawns on this island. So I think actually having our drying rack outside is going to be okay. So let's place one right here. Uh, we'll find out. If it, if it gets destroyed, it gets destroyed. We'll we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, now, another thing about uh, that bridge over there, I do know it's incredibly expensive doing it the way I'm doing it. But honestly, I do plan on making this a really long playthrough, and uh, I'm going to try to do my best to build to make it look legit. And honestly, having a foundation going all the way down to the uh, seabed, um, even though it's an increased expense, in the long run, I think it'll look a lot better. Um, now, that reminds me too, we still have a few logs over here, uh, but we need to build something else, and that's the, uh, the raft. So let's go over here, I'm gonna open my inventory, and we're gonna take a look at the raft here. And I'm sorry guys, it is nighttime, but hey, it is what it is, right? Ah, we'll go this way. We'll go the quicker way and go through the menu. Perfect. There we go, small raft. Put that down, and that sucker takes seven logs, which actually... We probably have lots of having those logs go into the water like that kind of sucks but I'm able to get out to it because it's not so deep right here there's actually a little bit of a ledge those suckers though I might not be so lucky with oh can I reach them nice beautiful sick okay I'm gonna slap these logs into this uh, the sucker here all right there we go we had the perfect amount of logs to actually complete all that and it's nighttime and it's dark so i'm gonna go sleep and i'll see you in the morning on day five beautiful i even saved the game too i like how it switches night right quickly like that <laughs> now uh this sucker is gonna need some rope so we're gonna have to go and grab some rope and i'm out of sticks too so i'm gonna get sticks while we're out uh but we're looking pretty good here i'm gonna have to get some food right off the bat Come here, bird. I'm actually going to probably eat you over a fire once I get over there. Beautiful. Nice. <laughs> I like how they drop a trophy, too. Who puts a bird on the trophy? And we still can't hang meat and dry it yet, so it looks like I'm going to be doing the good old fire stuff. All right, so we're getting low on sticks here. I seem to never have sticks on me in this playthrough, so I'm going to make a little bit of a conscious effort to get this. Uh, now, the reason I like using the, the club with the uh, the sticks is it's actually extremely fast. I don't know if it's efficient with your stamina, uh, but it's so much faster to swing it, I feel. Uh, so we're going to grab some sticks up here. I'm going to need plenty because I need to make a log cart. If we're going to be starting to grab logs from over here, I'm going to fill up a cart and bring them over there. And Yeah, there we go. Hopefully it's not burnt. Shit. Well, that's no good. I burnt my meat. Okay, I'm going to stare at my meat here. All right, there we go. I did it right this time. And I took a second. Apparently, you didn't like that. I took a second here to start uh, the cart. It takes 21, and you can carry 10 sticks. So it takes two inventories worth of sticks, plus one stick, uh, in order to build this sucker. All right. Bang. We have a cart. So this sucker, you can only move it in one direction. And that is forward. So this thing is a push only. Uh, you are not allowed to pull this sucker. So I'm going to move this a little bit all the way so I don't hit it with any trees. Uh, I think I could put it right about here because I'm going to knock that tree down and then that tree down. All right, let's get to cutting. Okay, so as it turns out, you can fit 12 logs on the one cart. We have uh, four strays over here. A couple here and then a couple over in the beach over there. Uh, that tree must have rolled like crazy. But let's push this sucker over to the bridge. Alright, there we go. One done. I'm halfway there. It's not too bad, actually. 75 logs does sound like a lot. But honestly, it does not take a long time to get them. Oh, look at this. Fresh meat. Yeah, let's get this. 
I am starting to get seriously surprised that we have not seen the single patrol yet. Where'd those other two go? Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do here is just keep cutting the trees, I think, this way. And then they'll kind of roll down this hill, and then I can fill up my cart with them right here. I'm trying to avoid hitting my cart with the trees. I've done that before, and it honestly just really sucks. All right, so I'm going to cut them all in this direction. I am honestly starting to get really surprised. I have not seen a single patrol today. Today has been seriously the quietest day since I've started playing. I believe we do are we are on day five already. So I wonder if that's a bad sign. That's okay though. Gives us time to build this and then build some traps along the shoreline and uh, kick some ass. Well, I think it's time to build a quick bench here and get myself a little bit of rest because my poor dude is like panting. He's he's not doing much. Look at his look at his energy levels. They're really down there. I kind of want to save on food too, so I'm gonna build a bench over here for while I'm working. Uh, why can I? Ah, there we go. Perfect. All right, let's sit down. Let my guy recuperate a little bit. All right, it's just turning nighttime here, and I'm in a real big hurry. But we should have just enough now. I keep thinking that bench is a log and trying to grab it. We should have just enough now to actually finish up that bridge just in time for nightfall. It's getting close. Haven't heard any screams, haven't seen any patrols, so we've gotten a lot done today uh, without being bothered, which is good. Because then we can uh, start on traps tomorrow and uh, finish off the raft, which we need to build the, uh, the drawbridge with. The basic concept is you take out the middle, you put the raft in between the sections, and then to make the drawbridge, you just jump on the raft, take the raft out. Um, I don't know, I don't think the um, the cannibals or the monsters can actually cross the raft. So when you put a raft in the place of the bridge, uh, you actually, oh, you could have just built a bunch of rafts. That would have actually kind of been cheaper. Not on the rope, but at least on the logs. Um, but basically... They can't run on the raft, they just fall through the raft, so apparently they'll go into the ground. Now, to be legit, what I'll do is I'll, I'll try to have that raft pulled out as much as possible, so I'm not glitching the fact that they run or fall through the raft. More of the fact that they'll actually just run off, right off the edge of this. Beautiful, look at that! We now have a bridge all the way across, which is pretty damn sick. So I have to take a section out. Is this section right here really deep? This section is perfect. Uh, so uh, I'm going to cross. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save. I'm going to eat. And I'm going to sleep. And then in the morning, we'll come over here and we'll pop it open. And uh, see if that... I, I'm not sure what's going to happen in this thing. Like if I take a section of it out, if it's going to collapse or whatnot. And honestly, this almost looks a little too long for a raft. Hmm. We'll have to figure it out. We can, we can play by ear. How wide is that raft? All right, and we have morning time. We're saved. We're good to go. Um, I'm going to have to eat here pretty soon. I did, though, uh, stick some meat up on the meat rack, so we got some meat going on. Hopefully, we can find a couple turtles here at some point today. This meat is spoiled and gross-ass looking. Hopefully, that'll go away um, when I re-log back in. I hate having spoiled meat laying around. It's just nasty. It smells like hell, too. So we do need four ropes for this sucker. How many? See, we don't even have enough cloth to build the ropes, because I do believe it is eight cloth, seven cloth for one rope. Ooh. All right, let's throw them all in there. Damn it, my math is off. I cannot math, people. I only have two. We need four all together, but that, that's not big of a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those. We have a couple ropes, or we have three ropes on us. Oh, just short of having four. So I'm going to go ahead and throw them in there, because it's better than having them in my inventory. Oh, we need a couple sticks, too. So we need one row rope couple of sticks and we got to uh, check out this bridge right here to get it finished uh, let's go over here now fingers crossed I don't fuck this shit up and it actually works out being okay because I, I don't think I can even jump that I can jump here and then here I could probably jump across the expanse with with one parked in it uh, what about here this section actually looks just as long too maybe I should have went the other way like can you set Oh my. Well, I have a lot of learning to do, but whatever. Let's go ahead and take out the hole cutter and just fucking try this shit because honestly, there's no other way I'm going to end up finding out. All right, so when I do this, for some reason, it's looking like it's highlighting the whole entire bridge. 
so I'm going to go ahead, double save this, and then we're going to try it, and hopefully that doesn't kick out the entire bridge. If it does, then we'll use this bridge for now and try to figure out a better design, because I think I should have had the logs actually going in the opposite direction, so I could just, like, chop out a small section instead of, like, the entire thing. <clears throat> All right, so let's uh, let's try this sucker here. It looks like I'm gonna have to build a little bit of a stair up to that lip too. Keep getting caught on it. Uh, this is the one I wanted to take out here. Oh wow, look at that! What the hell did it do here? This is totally not what I was looking for. Uh oh, uh, this is not a good sign. Uh, oh, I guess because they're all awkward. So, oh shit. What I can do is take out this little section here and see if we have enough room to drive a thing in. Wow, I completely fucked this up. Oh well, at least I did it, so you guys don't have to deal with it, right? Okay, so last time I did it, I had this thing at an angle, so I'm going to go ahead. I straighten it out this time, and we're going to try that. Oh, all I have to do is straighten it out. I just learned how to use the hole cutter properly. Oh, sick. Okay, no, that's not too bad. We'll just, we'll just clean this up here. <clears throat> all right, so apparently the hole cutter... Um, does not remove the foundation part either. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get it to take out the foundation here. Uh, X, no, like, look at that. I can't even... Yeah, it doesn't look like it'll take out the foundation at all. So I wonder if we can knock that sucker out. Oh, look at that. So I was able to take that side out. We've had no collapses. Um, there still is a little bit of a ledge down there, but I think that's actually what saved us. Oh, nice. I'm going to take this side out. Go and kill some turtles and make myself some food. Sick, there we go. So we have a hole. So what I, if I need to go and trim this sucker to make the raft fit into it perfectly, I'll trim it from that side because that's a little ugly. I went at a little bit of an angle. But hey, it's all a learning process, right? And this is actually uh, pretty... Whoops, <laughs> completely missed. It's actually pretty cool. Oh yeah, look, a little bit of a foundation left. That's actually probably perfect. Nice. I like how that looks. Like, look at it. When the waves go up and down, it actually looks properly supported. It's not a, like a freestanding structure. That was worth the effort, I think. We're actually one hour and 40 minutes into the recording of this episode. Um, it's been a been a long day. Wait. Oh, is that spoiled? Oh, it's fresh. Oh, sick. Does they stay fresh on the ground? Hmm. I didn't know. Maybe that was possible. All right. Cool. Come here, turtle. Come up to the shore. No, nothing like some turtle. Whoops. I made too much. Oh well, I'll eat it all. So I'm actually just above the camp right now. Um, as you can see, our house is over there. I think I'm going to run... Ooh, that lightning though. I think I'm going to run over in this direction and see if I can't uh, make my way to the camp. Or at least find like one small... Oh, little cabin right up there. Perfect. Uh, and get myself some... Some rock. I wonder if they're up there. Oh, it sounds like maybe there's some up there. Oh, shit. Where are we even? Oh, yeah, there's definitely one up there, and it's not happy. Holy crap, that is real close to my base. Closer than I even thought it was. And now it's raining. <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, I'm way over the time limit here for my recording today. Unfortunately, I do have to stop it here. Uh, so next episode, we'll go up to that cliff, um, investigate the little village that's there. Maybe get ourselves some more rope, some more cloth and basics, and get that um, raft done so we can finish off our drawbridge. I'm actually kind of really happy with the way this all turned out. I was really nervous about the bridge spending an entire episode making it, and then have it like be a complete fail. But um, as it turns out, doesn't matter. The hole cutter cuts an exact hole in the stuff. So, lesson learned. Awesome. All right, I'm going to head over to your island, save it up, and I will see you guys in the next episode. As usual, guys, stay classy. Always back up them game saves, and I will see you later. If you haven't done so yet, uh, join my Discord, guys. We're actually a cool group of people over there. We can talk about the forest, seven days to die, any other games we're playing, or just basically anything, whatever the hell you want to, right? All right, see you later. Peace.